Hello, Garrett here with Boats.net, and today I'm going to save you some cash by teaching you how to change your plugs on your 2006 Mercury 115 EFI. It's a really easy job to do. Just need to lift the cowling, remove the plug cover, and pull the plugs out. It's that easy. So, let me go grab a couple tools and we can get started. All right, guys, we got a really easy job today. So, I'm only going to rate it as a skill level one. Now, let's go over the tools you're going to need. You're going to need a 3 8 and a quarter inch ratchet, an 8 millimeter wrench, a couple different sizes extensions, a 10 millimeter socket, and a 5 8 spark plug socket. And lastly, a torque wrench. Now, as far as the parts go, check us out at Boats.net. There, we have exploded diagrams that give you an up-close view of how everything's taken apart, and more importantly, how it all goes back together. So, get your parts and tools together, and let's turn some wrenches. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is take the cowling off. And we do that by unlatching this latch on the front of the outboard and unlatching the latch on the rear of the cowling. And then we simply just lift it right off. All right, next up, we're gonna remove this little latch on the back of the outboard motor. Just takes a little eight millimeter wrench because we need to remove this to actually get our plug cover off. Now that we've got the latch out of the way, let's go ahead and take off the spark plug cover. And all these bolts are the same size and length, so you don't have to worry about mixing them up. Now, if you pay attention, if you notice, each spark plug has their own specific wire that's attached to them. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to replace each spark plug one at a time. That way I don't have to worry about mixing the wires up. Start by removing our top plug wire. All right, we're gonna take our new spark plug and we're gonna install it. And as you go to thread it in, you wanna be careful that you don't cross thread it. Now that we've got it bottomed out, let's take our torque wrench set to 18 foot-pounds and torque it down. Now let's make sure we put our plug wire back on spark plug number one. When you go to push them in, you want to make sure you listen for the click. That lets you know that the spark plug boot is on the spark plug properly. And now we just have three more to go. Now you might ask yourself how often you should do this. Well, Mercury recommends to check, at least check them every 100 hours and replace if needed. And also when you check every 100 hours, you can also get an idea of how your engine's running by looking at the condition of the spark plug. When you pull it out, if it's really black, that indicates that the engine's running rich, which means too much fuel. Or if the spark plug is white, that means it's running lean and not enough fuel, and that's bad. You definitely don't want that. So it's a good idea to check them every 100 hours, let you know what's going on with your engine. We're gonna torque this one down to 18 foot-pounds as well. And take our spark plug boot. And once again, we're gonna listen for the click. Just like that.
Let's put our last boot on and then our spark plug cover. When you go to tighten these down, you don't want to over tighten them. You just want to snug them up because the cover is plastic and you don't want to break it. So just get them good and snug. Now let's put our latch in. All right, the last thing we have to do is put our cowling back on. All right, guys, that wraps this job all up. It's that easy. And it's gonna save you some cash because you did it yourself. Listen, for parts used in this project and more, come check us out at boats.net and we can get you taken care of. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Just wanna say thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.